Hi all of you, I'm Shabbir from Edukemi. Welcome to our pre-prelims revision series, a quick rapid revision. This means that your prelims preparation can get all the more better starting from December and January. In this session, we are trying to cover important topics. With that, we will give you some documents for PDF download. And we'll hope that you also understand the examination pattern. So this we call as our rapid revision series for the prelims. Uh, we have been discussing topics around climate and India. Today's topic we will discuss is Western disturbances. So Western disturbances are a very important part of India's climate. Hai. Our climate jo hai, it is a savanna type of climate, rainfall of about 118 to 117 centimeters in one year. But Western disturbance is a very unique thing. Because the moment we say monsoons of India, monsoons have this seasonality of wind onshore and offshore. In the reversals. Hota rehta hai. So when the winds are onshore, coming from the sea towards the land, we have good rainfall, which is part of the summer monsoon months. But when the winds are offshore, the winds are going from the land towards the sea. The winds are dry, they don't cause rains. So generally, our eight months of our year, which includes parts of winters, it includes part of summers, yani ki approximately September, October onwards, ugly sal ke almost May tak rainfall hoti nahi hai. It is considered to be dry conditions. The rainfall months hote hain, wo char month mainly hote hain, June, July, August, September, which accounts for almost 80, 85 percent of India's complete rain in four months. But is dry season mein, uh, a very interesting thing in the winters, jo India mein dry ke we have a phenomena called as western disturbances. I am sure all of you heard about this one. Is me kya? There are winter rainfall. Winter rainfall in the months of late November, December, January, Feb, and 2023 may western disturbances were in news till as late as month of June, July also. Because of the western disturbances over South Asia in 2023, as late as I said in the summer monsoon months of June, July, India may achi khasi barish hui hai in the slopes of Himachal Pradesh, in the slopes of Uttaranchal. So much so. K23, despite the fact it is an El Nino year, where we had in India mein dry conditions, hona chahiye tha, rainfall kam hona chahiye tha, droughts hona chahiye tha. But we had good rains because the western disturbances. This is an unusual phenomenon, western disturbances in the month of June and July. Otherwise, western disturbances are phenomena of the winters. As in late November, December, Jan, Feb, and even as late as March and April or sometimes. But April till summer is jati hai. Otherwise, March tak hum mante hai that this phenomena can be there. Is mein hota kya hai? There are strong upper tropospheric winds. Set of winds called as subtropical westerly jet streams. Ye winds jo hai, ye upper troposphere mein hoti hai at heights of approximately 14, 15 kilometers above the surface. And these kind of winds are able to bring moisture from Mediterranean Sea, from Black Sea, parts of Persian Gulf. And they cause rains along the windward slopes of Himalayas. Agar if you look at the orientation of the Himalayas are from northwest towards approximately southeast. It's like an arc that we have. So when the western disturbances come, they are blocked by the Himalayan mountains and they cause rainfall. So states of uh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttaranchal, Jammu Kashmir, uh, Ladakh region, parts of Punjab, Haryana, ki even parts of western UP and Delhi may be this rainfall. Hoti hai. This rainfall is not much, hai, approximately 6 to 10 cm annual rainfall. But this rain is very important for a good harvest of the rabi crops like wheat, like gram, yani ke chana. And it also impacts the harvest of mustard. So, if you are going to Kashmir or you are traveling to parts of Ladakh, uh, you should know that in the month of March, April, there can be a good rainfall in April. In fact, those are the main rainfall months for these northwestern parts of India. This Bay of Bengal, the winds come, they are not the main source of the rain. The main source of rains are the winds which are upper tropospheric southwestern jet streams hai, coming from Mediterranean Sea. They bring the rains. And a more interesting thing is that these western disturbances are not just phenomena in northwest part of India. Mein nahi hai. They also have impact on the northeastern part of India. Yani ki Himalayas ke slopes in Arunachal Pradesh, parts of Upper Assam, parts of Nagaland, par bhi western disturbances can cause good amount of rainfall. Brahmaputra is a very large river of India. India. Bahut se reasons hai why it has lot of water. One important reason is Brahmaputra receives water from the two rainfall peaks. 
पार्टली रिसीव बल्क ऑफ द रेन जो होते हैं साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून वाले रेनफॉल होते हैं रेनी समर मंथ्स में उससे पानी आता है ब्रह्मपुत्र को और ब्रह्मपुत्र को ऑल्सो लॉट ऑफ वाटर फ्रॉम द वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेस इन द विंटर मंथ्स इसीलिए बोलते हैं ब्रह्मपुत्र का ट्विन पीक वाटर रिजीम होता है दो बार वन जस्ट अराउंड द मंथ ऑफ अगस्त सेप्टेंबर एंड अनदर वन इन द मंथ ऑफ लेट डिसंबर जनवरी फेब में ब्रह्मपुत्र हैज पीक्स ऑफ वाटर रेजी दैट्स वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेस इंडिया में एक और जगह है जहां पर विंटर इनफॉल्स होती हैं यानी कि कोस्ट ऑफ तमिलनाडु कोरोमंडल कोस्ट में बट दैट विंटर रेनफॉल इज बिकॉज ऑफ द ऑन शोर नॉर्थ ईस्ट मानसून विंड ये विंड बे ऑफ बंगाल से आके दे इम्पैक्ट द पार्ट ऑफ द कोस्ट तमिलनाडु दे आर नॉट वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेज सो आप चार चीज याद रखें वन इज वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेज आर विंटर रेनफॉल बट नॉट ऑल विंटर रेनफॉल आर वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेज जैसे कि तमिलनाडु कोस्ट विंटर रेनफॉल तो है बट इट इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ द वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेज दैट्स वन फैक्ट सेकेंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट फैक्ट इज द वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेज आर एक्चुअली मॉइस्चर फ्रॉम द मेडिटेरियन सी एंड द टाइप ऑफ फिनोमिना जो लेके आती है मॉइस्चर दे कॉल्ड एज टेम्परेट साइक्लोन और वीक डिप्रेशन वीक टेम्परेट डिप्रेशन विच ब्रिंग द मॉइस्चर एंड दे कॉज रेनफॉल इन नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न इंडिया एंड इन पार्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न इंडिया थर्ड इज द वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर रावी क्रॉप के हार्वेस्ट के लिए सो दे आर इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया क्लाइमेटिक सिस्टम एंड द फोर्थ इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज द वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेज आर यूनिक इन पार्ट ऑफ साउथ एशिया ये और कहीं नहीं होता है parts of i said northwestern india the states i mentioned and parts of northeast also keep watching such videos aapke paas aur bhi videos honge jisme ki aapka quick revision ho jayega for the prelims uh, climates of india world and other geographical topics that will be taken up by me keep watching us for quick revision for the prelims